hello everyone welcome to another session on introduction to television and cinema uh, this is like uh, you can say a voice over for the powerpoint presentations that i have given you in past two or three classes so this uh, and as i have told you earlier uh, we have already completed the uh, our first module like the third module in your syllabus and we are moving on to the next module that is the fourth module in your syllabus and in this uh, module we are going to discuss about cinema in india okay so before we start before we get into the slides you know what you have to understand is since the beginning of the 20th century uh, cinema has emerged as an influential medium of information and also of entertainment news education and even historical memory you know historical memory in the sense it uh, vital revitalize you know our memory of certain events in the past cinema is not just a means of communication you know but you can say it has turned out to be a reflection of the society or you can say a mirror of the society it has become a cultural agent Uh, of change okay and also uh, a subject matter and source of history you know, it deals with history it deals with culture it uh, deals with uh, the society the different aspects of the society so cinema has become a very important cultural uh, medium you can say in the 20th century okay though it emerged that is the first thing though it emerged in uh, in us so you can say okay uh the same thing you can you we get in in india okay so lumia brothers representatives held the first public showing of their films at mumbai's watson's hotel on uh, 7th july 1896 so in that very same you know decade itself uh india witnessed the first show okay then uh, we know that hs but pudeka a still photographer in mumbai was the first person to shoot a wrestling match and exhibit the same in a theater in bombay so you have to remember but pudeka you know, and you have also you have to remember that he is a still photographer from mumbai and what did he shoot he he shoot a uh, uh, a wrestling match okay and he has exhibited that in mumbai so all these things you have to remember now uh, the first indian film released in india is shri pundalik now you have to remember the name of the film the first film that got released in india is shri pundalik that you have to remember and the major points that you have to remember in this context are shri pundalik it's a silent film uh, shri pundalik it's a marathi film it is by dada saheb thorne and uh, it was in the year 1912 18th may you can uh, you, you can wait that but 1912 you have to remember and the first show was at coronation uh, cinematograph in mumbai so all these things you have to remember then Uh, Shri Pundalik is based on the life of Maharashtrian saint by the same name, so that also you have to remember. It is basically about the life of a Maharashtrian saint. Then, uh, and it is not the first Indian film because the cameraman was British and the film was processed in London. So, because of these two reasons, you can say Shri Pundalik is not considered as the first Indian film. then the first full length motion picture in india was raja harish chandra by dada sahib phalke so very important raja harish chandra it was by dada sahib phalke and that is the first full length motion picture in india so this is the first thing that you have to remember now Uh, raja harish chandra a few things about raja harish chandra you usually get questions you know uh, on raja harish chandra uh, the movie it's a silent film again uh, and it was in the year 1913 okay so year is important again 
third may 1913 and it was also shown in the same place coronation cinematograph in bombay then um, you know another feature about raja harish chandra was the female characters were played by male actors so that's a very important feature you can write when you get a question on raja harish chandra then it marked the foundation for the indian film industry another point that you can remember in this context it marks the foundation for the indian film industry then and many consider him the uh, director of raja harish chandra dada sahib phalke as the father of indian film many consider him as the father of indian film and government of india has uh, had named the highest film award as dada sahib phalke award and it is given to the best film personality so which is the highest film award dada sahib phalke award and to whom it is in fact offered by the government of india uh, that is given to the best film personality so these are the things that you can remember in relation to uh, raja harish chandra the movie now along with that you know few other uh, things are also needed you know in order to finish with this introduction part to indian uh, cinema or you can the cinema in india the first indian talkie is alam ara okay alam ara that is the first indian talkie you will get factual questions you know uh, from this uh, particular part you know, or the objective type of questions so alam ara is the first indian talkie and it is by r deshur irani uh, and it was released in the year 9 1931 okay we know that the first um, talkie in the world cinema it is the jazz singer and came in the year 1927 so it is after that of course you know uh, so 1931 the year is important not the uh, date then uh, when you come to bengali film industry uh, so the word bengali film industry uh, uh, you know a word associated or the word uh, there's a word that is coined to represent bengali film industry and that is tollywood okay so we have two tollywoods now nowadays but you know uh, in 1932 uh, bengali film industry was called the tollywood and it became the center of indian film industry you know that you know uh, in the pre independent phase of india bengal was the seat of literature the seat of art you can say okay all these literary and artistic uh, things you know it is in a way related to in, it was in and around bengal so the same thing you can see in the case of film also so it it was the center of film in indian film industry at that particular point or you can see the initial phase of uh, indian cinema okay then in indian cinema you can see the studios you know they came by uh, 1935 and in the, all the major cities like madras kolkata and bombay we have studios you know the same studio culture we have uh, you know we have seen that in the context of world cinema so the same uh, the reflection of that same very same concept you can say in indian cinema also film making became an established craft in india by uh, the 1930s then the first color film you again you have to remember from that you know factual as a factual uh, point and you have to remember that is kisan kania and it came in the year 1937 and it is divi- uh, directed by modi b gidwani moti b gidwani he directed the movie and it the name of the movie the first color film in india is kisan kania and the year is also important then sand tukaram uh, the first indian film screened at international film festival okay in its 1937 edition of venice film festival it came in the year 1936 and in the venice 50, uh, film festival of uh, 1937 edition you can see it was screened sand tukaram so that is also another important point that you have to remember in this context so this is like the brief, brief introduction Uh, to the cinema in india okay uh, you can say that you know during the colonial rule many film makers were not able to express explicitly their political concerns and aspirations okay because you know there was a kind of a censorship that was quite very prevalent during that particular period and because of that you know most the cinemas were more or less like you know imitation of the trend that was there in the world cinema okay 
but uh, you know uh, you can see that through actions through gestures through sentiments through symbolism you know they they try to contribute uh, to their concerns okay in, in one way or the other and because of that you know uh, the cinema even during this phase as well like very important and it laid the foundation for indian cinema so with that i conclude the introduction part to indian cinema thank you stay tuned and god bless